Last year, under the pressure of the CCP's brutal tech crackdown and ailing economy, big industry firms had no other choice but to cut the workforce and reduce operating costs. According to a recent South China Morning Post report, Jack Ma's Alibaba slashed nearly 10,000 employees in the June quarter. Meanwhile, gaming giant Tencent laid off 7,300 staff between April and September. The outlet noted these layoffs took a toll on the expensive property market of Chinese tech companies. Over the last few years, waves of these tech professionals rushed to these areas due to high wages and real estate bonuses, resulting in a rapid increase in home prices. Mega cities such as Hangzhou and Shenzhen, home to China's leading tech enterprises, seemed immune to the country's real estate dilemma. However, home prices in these areas fell sharply last year due to extensive layoffs in the technology sector. For example, in the past few months, Hangzhou's Wuhan district saw second-hand home prices plunge by nearly two thousand one hundred and eighty dollars, fifteen thousand yuan. Data from a local broker website shows that housing prices in one prominent neighborhood dropped to about eight thousand seven hundred dollars, sixty thousand yuan, down twenty-eight percent from its peak at around twelve thousand dollars, eighty-three thousand yuan. Another agent website revealed that the volume of second-hand homes listed for sale last September surged for nine straight months. Lin Dawu, a product manager at Alibaba, said she was shocked when a local property agent told her about buying a house close to her workplace in Hangzhou for a very low price instead of renting. The broker also claimed that it was a golden time to purchase, as many unemployed homeowners in the area could no longer pay mortgages and had to sell their houses at low prices. Jin Fengshu, an analyst at Credit Suisse, disclosed that home prices in other prime neighborhoods, Beijing's Zhongguancun in the Haidian district and Shenzhen's Nanshan district, have been pretty high in the last several years. But Jin Fengshu said, "We can see those once hot areas cool down in 2022." Meanwhile, Alan Chung, Centiline Property Agency CEO for Southern China, also revealed housing prices in Shenzhen, home to Tencent and Huawei. According to Chung, the city's prices plummeted nearly 50 percent compared to last year. As reported by SCMP, China's property crisis with cash-strapped builders and frozen projects has undermined customer confidence in recent years. As a result, potential home buyers across the country are concerned about the advantages of purchasing a house. Data released in late December from the People's Bank of China shows that Chinese households looking to purchase a house in the fourth quarter plunged to 16.1 percent. This indicated a 10 percent decrease from the previous quarter. Nicole Bai, a worker at Tencent, said. At this time, the uncertain career prospect makes us dare not think about purchasing a home. Credit Suisse is sure said that the Hangzhou agent couldn't persuade her. She still had to think twice, despite wanting to buy a home there. Sure explained because you never know if you will lose your job tomorrow. Jin Feng Sure also believes that China's middle class will consider carefully between the need to buy an expensive home and their actual earnings. She said they might change their consumption behaviors and investment strategies.